it's uh, the prevalence is more or less same like rest of the world but at karachi uh, people eat uh, betel nut and uh, with tobacco so that is the one cancer compared to the rest of the world where it has 5% of the total cancers it has 30% in karachi but rest or the prevalence is more of same like uh, one in eight women suffer from breast cancer that is a commonest in the female in the men the lung cancer but then gi cancers and prostate and all others like other parts of the world you see my mother suffered a cancer in 2008 and i realized and at that time at least i felt the pain and suffering of a cancer patients so at that time at least i decided that uh, i will work for cancer and uh, our objective will be that every cancer patient should be treated free of charge irrespective of patient's affordability or uh, background i mean and this is possible around the world as a fellow human being as a fellow human being we should consider this thing that any patient who is suffering from any disease or uh, especially cancer or in case of emergency the treatment should be absolutely free so with this passion we started working and it is working well and i believe because of its absolute free facility people are joining hand with us and it is growing i'll start uh, historically in 1954 uh, pakistan was founded in 1948 in 1954 Uh, there were about five therapy units in Pakistan of that time, right? And till late 70s, Pakistan, especially JPMC, was one of the best center or a good center compared to any other center in Pakistan. Or we were, in other words, say four, five, or six years behind the world. But after 70s and in late 80s, it the development stopped at JPMC or. across the pakistan as far as cancer technology is concerned so today i can easily say that we are 20 to 40 years behind the world in terms of technology uh, a minus uh, cyber knife but uh, uh, now there is uh, awareness after the cyber knife and people are focused on this but even to date we are 220 million people there are less than 70 systems or 70 linacs across pakistan out of that there are one or two cobalts in the public sector rest all either through uh, semi autonomous uh, agencies of pakistan or in a private sector and out of that 70 i think there are 35 cobalts and rest are linacs as a standard i think there should be more than 220 linacs at least 220 linacs in pakistan You see, when my mother suffered a cancer, at that time we were looking at options where that how she can be cured. At that time, I had some idea about uh, radio surgery. That radio surgery is the one area or one treatment uh, way where she can be treated without surgery with radiation. But uh, when she was uh, diagnosed and we did our PET CT, uh, her stage was even beyond that. So at that time. uh we started searching for the technology and we realized that uh, of course surgery is still a gold standard but they have 140 years at their credit uh, and uh, radio surgery is a new new way of treatment but uh, after uh, gathering some data and information from other friends we came to know that radio surgery is upcoming field and it can compete uh, many many uh, things uh, many many diseases compared to surgeon and then once we found out about cyber knife as i said earlier we fell in love with cyber knife and we and we are very very happy we see things i mean our center uh, our treat patients uh, there are all type of patients uh, all income group but especially when you treat an underprivileged where you know that this patient could not have a, uh, could not afford to go abroad overseas for a treatment and now the patient has been treated and a cure it give you a wonderful feeling and we are very happy with the cyber knife services by their support team and uh, they have been very 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 cooperative our uptime is good and uh, we are very satisfied that's why we are going for a 
second cyber life and in a future project maybe we will be the only center in the world we'll be having the largest number of cyber life we are targeting four units total four units and uh, of course tomotherapy and other facilities You see, at present, uh, our uh, work is 90% intracranial, right? Uh, and our op our preference is uh, that we offer, we treat patients where we can cure a disease, right? So you can simply say around 75% of the work is a curative, but our at least first uh, objective is to find out the patients where we can offer a 100% curative treatment. So that is the number one option where we want to uh, do more and more. Uh, similarly, in case of prostate, we are looking for stage one prostate cases, and whenever we get that, we do treat that. So our objective is uh, patients where we can 100% cure a disease. You see, I'm very uh, optimistic and uh, I hope and uh, I expect that uh, in two, three years time, we'll be having one of the largest uh, cancer treatment center at JPMC, uh, one of the largest uh, at least in Asia. It is because of their prayers and duas that we are blessed with the uh, I mean, so many things in our life, as I sh said earlier, that you are showered with blessings. You are showered with blessings. And that's absolutely true. When you treat such patients where they cannot have this facility, they do not, just, just because they could not afford to have that treatment and they get the facility, the feeling is uh, beyond my at least, uh, so I can't explain that in words.